Today we're looking at RSD's brand new RS291. Now the way that bikes work is a company will design a bike and send the plans to the builder and then they'll usually get one or two bikes back where they can fine tune. Those two bikes are prototypes where they can look at the welds, look at the water bottle placement, all that stuff and make sure it's how they want it. They're able to ride those bikes, make some tweaks before the final production version. This is one of those bikes. This is a prototype. This is not quite the same as the final bike because those aren't available yet. But I'm super thankful for Alex for sending me his personal bike so that we can take a look at it here on the channel, review it and ride it in some of Sedona's rowdy terrain. This is a rowdy bike on paper, 63 degree head angle, 160 mil fork. I know a lot of you are going to be excited about that. You like long travel forks on your rowdy bikes, long reach, 420 to 435 chainstay. And this is actually RSD's first bike that they designed for 29ers. Now almost all their bikes can run 29ers, but this was built specifically with 29ers in mind. So this is a limited edition prototype paint job. It has Star Wars graphics on it. These little explosions are pretty cool. And if you're a Star Wars nerd, you're going to love the name of this bike. It's the RS291, stands for Rogue Squad. Do a little bit of research. See if you can figure out where Rogue Squad was mentioned in the Star Wars movie series. And the 2.9 is 29. And the 1 is it's their first edition of a bike built specifically for 29s. Anyway, let's go through it a little bit. I'm super excited for this. This is not the complete bike you're going to get when you order one. This is Alex's personal bike with some of my parts on it too. First off, I wanna give a huge shout out to Hunt Wheels. They sent in some Enduro wides for this build and they're 32.5 mil inner width, which I love. These Enduro wides are very economical, quite light for the price, really fast engagement. And they're 32.5 inner width, which is going to be great for the 2.4 to 2.6 tire size. I'm excited about that. Up front, I'm testing out a Goodyear Newton 2.6. And out back, I've got a trusty Maxxis DHR2. I love that tire. Um, there are some special parts on this. This is a 160 mil pike. We've got 6C carbon cranks. One of the really cool things about this bike is Alex built it to fit a 175 mil dropper on the size medium. That's really awesome. We got a straight seat tube. There's no bends in there to limit the seat tube size. So for a small guy like me with short legs, I really appreciate being able to fit a longer dropper in there. The more dropper we can get, the better. Uh, we've got full external cable routing, except for the dropper. The dropper comes in the down tube back out of the down tube and then in the seat tube. We're seeing that on a lot of different bikes and when done properly, it doesn't rattle. This is a steel bike, 4130. RSD has a lot of great things going for them. One of them is the factory that builds their frames. This factory does an incredible job. And when I talked to Alex, he said, you know, there were a couple factories to choose from and I could have saved a, a good amount on some of the frames if I went with a cheaper factory, but he said the quality of the factory that I use is the best of the best. Many other name brand bikes are built there. I'm not allowed to tell you who, but it's the best of the best coming out of Taiwan. And I can attest to that. When I look at my Thai welds, when I look at the steel welds, it's just beautiful craftsmanship. So you could have gotten a cheaper bike built at a cheaper factory, but I don't think that's the right way to go. And neither does Alex. The second awesome thing about RSD is the pricing. Their bikes are very well priced, especially with the spec you get for them. And the third thing that I love about RSD is the customer service. You can hop onto rsdbikes.com and at the bottom there's this little chat window and you can chat and you're chatting with Alex, the owner of the company who's ridden all these bikes in a bunch of different sizes. You can pick his brain about models, about what tires to run, which wheels fit in it, what his favorite combinations are on each one, sizing, all of that. That's pretty incredible. There are companies I reach out to, shoot them an email or call them, and I get a call back maybe two weeks later. Alex, it's almost always instant, and if he's out, it's that same day. So super impressed with their customer service. So this is meant to go up against the likes of the Marin Elroy and the Hanzo ESD. That's super slack, 63 head angle, 75 degree seat angle. 
negative 55 BB drop, and we've still got that short rear end. Now, I've got a 29 by 24 in here. It's almost slammed all the way forward. I'll so I can't quite slam the dropouts all the way forward with a 29 by 24, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna guess that's about 422, 423 mil chainstay, which is really good. It's a lot like the middle child. Now, even though this was designed around 29ers, you can fit 27.5 plus as well. That's always an option. And since the bottom bracket's not super low, that shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't lower your bottom bracket too much, especially if you're running 170 mil cranks. It's like the middle child got an even more radical baby brother and this thing looks pretty cool. There's another color as well. It's kind of a cement gray that I think looks fantastic. I've got that color on my personal RSD Wildcat V2 full suspension and it looks great. So if it were me, I'd probably go that route, but this Star Wars theme is pretty cool. We don't even know if this Star Wars theme is gonna be available. Remember, this is a prototype, so there's gonna be some slight differences between this and the final production including the paint. So RSD Bikes is out of Ontario, Canada. They specialize in fat bikes, hardtails, and they have some pretty cool full suspensions as well. As always, you can save 5% on any RSD product using code PARTY at checkout. I really appreciate RSD extending that discount to you. That is awesome. You've seen them on the channel. My main bike is an RSD middle child. This thing's even rowdier. I'm excited to put some dirt on these tires and see what this bike is all about. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm struggling to find trails rowdy enough to test some of these bikes. And that's saying something, especially here in Sedona. This came in at 33.3 pounds, which doesn't mean a whole lot because this is a prototype bike. This isn't the final bike, but that's right in there, right around the ESD weight and that Marin Elroy weight. Alex, thanks for sending me your personal bike to feature. There's a party in the mountains. Let's hear what this hunt hub sounds like. Shh. 